Okay, so we've just taken that material out of there. Uh, as I say we, we don't want to be taking too much out because um, if these airs get a knock, they're liable to break. So, uh, say so you've got to be a bit practical with uh, with your carvings. Um, so I'm going to take some material off the back, but for now we're going to have a look underneath here and see how much we can take off and make it look uh, a bit deeper. First of all, I'm going to just try this and see what that does to it. Well that's okay, but you can't get in everywhere with that, so we're going to use this as a bit of a little planer and see what we can do with this.
can see what uh, we've done there. Uh, so we've taken a bit of material out. If you look at the uh, the picture, it's going to be a lot of shadow there. And it looks as though it's uh, deeper than this was. And there we go. So what we're going to do now is just put a file over these uh, at the bottom of the the, the loops. Okay. So I think at this point, I don't want to do any more to this dog. What I want to do now is tidy up these sort of uh, call them peripheral areas. Uh, we'll work on the back. We'll do this. Uh, we need to do this uh, this hole here. So uh, I could probably do that while it's still square. So uh, it looks like we could be quite close to uh, finishing this. I think the other thing we could probably do is uh, this area here uh, is, is coming up a bit and I'm just wondering whether I should really put a, a deeper radius in there. Uh, we'll look at that in a minute. So again, we're not going to be able to put this in. I have a little clamp which I would normally stand things up in to drill absolutely perfectly down. We're not going to be able to do that in this case. Uh, I was thinking this morning, maybe I should drill these while the block is still a square block and everything's nice and square. But uh, you tend not to think of that. at the time. So there we go. Right. We've just put some guidelines on there. That's going to go in here. Uh, and we're going to drill a 13 mil hole and then we'll turn ourselves a peg if I can find some oak. I've got some oak somewhere, some scrap oak. We'll turn a peg out of oak to go in there. And uh, then we can start looking at the uh, the shank and rounding off. So I'm going to switch off now and I'll come back when we've done all that and I've warmed my hands up because it's rather cold in here. Bye bye.